wrong, suckers, is what I'll soon be saying, but not on camera, because I just figured out the perfect way to escape this life of internet drudgery, lest I be counted among the thousands lain low before their time by meme lung. See, all I have to do is write a single super stupid song which will aggregate and accrue instantaneously many millions. Uh, money millions. Money millions, incidentally, also the title of the song. Works on a lot of levels. How to write a pop internet anti-hit. By now, we're all familiar with how Rebecca Black turned a monotone list of her daily activities and state-of-the-art bus stop sign CG technology into internet fame. Gotta get down to the bus stop. Gotta catch my bus. I, see my I didn't say play it. We're all familiar. The point is, I'm monotone. I do things routinely. How come I don't have 71 million views and crippling cyberbully problems? There must be some other secret to success hidden in videos like Friday. Computer, scan ironically successful pop videos on YouTube for similarities. Okay, either the computer's done analyzing or my soup is ready. Computer? No, not that! The other thing! Why I oughta... So, mostly women scoring the big numbers, but that's okay. I got a conversion kit around here somewhere. Plus, I'm only eight in robot years, because robots go by mental age, and I watch YouTube for a living. What else? So chillin' in the front side, in the, front side, in the back seat. Now I do it all, from the comfort of my phone. Tron, Tron, Quago, Tien, Horn, Horn. Take it slow, this is the way to grow your fro. Aha! They all sport sick, dope, toit rap breakdowns, which is noise because I already do that. You gotta rhyme in rapping almost all the time. See? Literally just as good. Anyway, all you really need is the artistic suggestion of a rap breakdown. Case in point. Yeah, man, Bieber is dead. Long live, wait a minute, was that all the same guy? Computer, identify that guy. I do believe that sound indicates a 100% match. Well done, computer. <sighs> I miss Clippy. Nevertheless, it looks like all of these YouTube anti-hits were written and produced by the same guy, Patrice Wilson, AKA Pato, which I believe is slang for most of a potato. He's head of Pato Music World and Arc Music Factory, so-called because it's a clear sign that God has forsaken us and we're all about to be killed in a righteous cleansing flood. This also explains why Alison Gold's debut video, Shush Up, named after what you start shouting at the screen 10 seconds in, includes the line, Any last words? Gold is the new black. As in Rebecca Black, not Orange is the New Black. Even though she's in prison and playing a blonde that you kind of instinctively hate. I know, confusing. And none of it explains why Patrice thought it was a good idea to make Allison's music video about a child getting the electric chair, then lethal injection, then committing suicide by raining down onto a bunch of party people as a shower of gold. All because he told her to burn. Maybe you can burn. I swear, there's no more context than that. If you look closely in the video, you can actually see Allison's mother realize just how much she's ruining her daughter's life. And that's not even mentioning the backup dancers in this thing. These women came to Hollywood with dreams of stardom. Now they're sexualizing a little girl in prison and I'm positive none of them know why. They auditioned to do this. Look at this guy. He worked out so much. And for what? To hit a tire with a sledgehammer in the alley where we shot anti-heroes. That guy is acting out a metaphor for his life right now. God, I hope they shot there after us. And the high creep factor present in Shush Up is no anomaly. Patrice Wilson is also the mind behind a music video where the kids all get hooked on crack rock and one where he plays Mr. Rogers convincing a tiny doll-sized girl to get in his rape van and go to a party where he spikes her drink with a love potion, turns himself into a puppet, then turns her friend into Chinese food and she eats her. 
very specific fetish, Patrice. Hell, if these songs were ever compiled onto a CD, it'd be called, Now, That's When I Call Child Protective Services. Plus, it turns out Pato charges the stars of these videos for the privilege of being in them. All right, I'm not sure I really want to make my many money millions this way. I mean, this guy is either A, callously taking money from f***ed up stage parents by promising to make their kids internet famous, or B, a legitimate pedophile directing sexualized videos of preteen girls and no one is stopping him. How is it legal for a grown man to form a duo called Tween Chronic whose music video looks like Pee Wee auditions for the Jack Nicholson role in The Departed? Allison Stacy, we out. <laughs> ah, Jesus. Nice laugh, kid. Uh, you may notice that's also Allison Gold. Stacy was never seen again. Hopefully because she ran away from her shitty parents and started living with literally anyone else, and not because she succumbed to a crippling pixie stick overdose. In fact, the only one asking Patrice Wilson the hard questions is himself, in the form of an interview with a dead-eyed woman he clearly paid to ask him questions that he wrote. Who are you? What is Arc Music Factory? What's in the future for Arc Music Factory? Could you elaborate for us where you stand on these comments and posts that say what you're doing is wrong and that you're exploiting kids? Whoa! I take it back. Surprisingly incisive, dead-eyed woman. What say you in your defense, eh? Pato? The whole goal is to bring people together. I cannot get this out of my head. That's the whole goal. You guys watch on television and TV. It's actually less auto-tune we use. We have to go ahead and create that auto-tune. We don't charge our artists. If we are to charge an artist, it could range from 2000 to 4000 Is that a bad deal? And you even get lunched. Jesus, man, you wrote this interview. How can you be so unprepared? You really articulately laid out all the valid concerns that people have about what you you're doing, then answered with a bunch of jumbled lies and contradictions, as if you didn't set this up yourself. Ugh, makes me so mad I got a sketch about it. People online say you're great. How do you respond? Well, the dead hookers are under the floorboards. Oh shoot, that's not what I meant to say. And I spiked camera and I didn't restate the question and the answer. Can we take that back? Sure, whenever you're ready. Well. When people on TV, online, television tell me that I'm great, I always, under the floorboards, dead hookers, six of them, six dead hookers. I am just a mumble mouth today. Can we edit that all out? No. Weirdly, no. Really? Even though this is just a PR thing and I set it up myself and we're both me? I know, it's strange. Also kind of a lot to expect from the audience that they'd understand that this one time we're the same person when usually you just change shirts and they're expected to believe that you're a whole different guy. Yeah, that's rough. Yeah, it's quite So do you- I'm sorry. Oh, well I- Are you gonna- I thought- Okay, if you just- Well, it's like we they can fix this in you, post, it's please. not- I let's don't agree. How is this even let's possible? Let's just start it. If it's oh, edited- golly. In conclusion, Patrice Wilson. Parents, please stop lending him your children. It disgusts me. So let's stop Pato the only way we can, by simply ignoring him. Which I guess is kind of hypocritical of me to say after I just did a whole video featuring his work. And I watched each of those videos like a dozen times to write the episode, so I guess you win. Wilson! Thanks for watching YouTube videos on YouTube. This was our YouTube video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and click like on the channel and the video and leave a comment. But not too mean.